the whole thing wobbing. So the Christmas present make right info just got pushed out. I have info to go over with you guys and I'll be honest, EA didn't do the right thing. Now I do want to give a shout out to Warrior for being a part of the Noti Gang. If you guys want a chance to shout out the next video, drop a like in the vid. Make sure you guys are subs to the channel. Turn the notification on and comment down below. Noti Gang. Also guys, every single day of December I'm giving away $25 worth of my dog fantasy fund. So if you guys been here for that giveaway, just retweet that tweet, follow me over on Twitter, and comment down below on that tweet, Zerk. And as long as you guys sign up or did already sign up on Underdog Fantasy using code Zerk, you're eligible for the giveaway. Which there is a new Travis Kelsey special available right now, guys, and you only have until 9 a.m. Eastern to sign up for it. I will leave a link to the discord down below all you guys gonna do go to discord go to the announcements and the underdog discord and fill out the Google form as long as you guys do that you are good to get the special make sure you check out underdog and use code Zerk of course which now is the perfect time to because now we have my Cowboys absolutely demolishing the Tennessee Titans so my NFL picks are already up over on Twitter right now if you guys want to enter for the giveaway for the two Xbox and the PlayStation 5 all you guys gonna do is drop a like in the vid make sure you sub then comment down below to see you on this video and every video because the end of the December, I'm going to go through, select three random videos, and select those winners. So go ahead and comment down below presents and leave with a contact you up for Twitter or Instagram. All right, guys, so let's take a look here at what EA tweeted out because I got to say, they didn't do the right thing, okay? Now I'm going to read through this so you guys can fully understand exactly what they're saying. But as you guys already know, presents, there was some issues uh, on Christmas Day. So, when presents were first made available to open, it was discovered they were incorrect. We learned the users had all the proper inventory of presents and the proper content, but the names and images were incorrect. That is completely true. So, meaning when they had an unfinished business pack, that should reward a Tom Brady. But on Christmas morning, the pack was misnamed Legends Pack. So, yeah, we already know that when you open the Legends Pack, that was actually the Brady. Now, at around 6.20, an update was rolled out in an attempt to correct this but corrected the wrong thing. Now, this is when I made the video uh, on Christmas night going over those XL gifts, right? The extra large gifts, if you guys open them up, well, we had a bunch of them that weren't supposed to be XL gifts. Obviously, you're only supposed to have like one of those, but a ton of us had like 20, 30 of the XL gifts, and now the XL gifts were actually the extra large gift, right? So essentially, that caused a ton of us to get literally millions of coins that opened those up. Now, that update was live until approximately 8, 10 p.m. This resulted in cases where, in the example above, the unfinished business pack now had the correct image in the name, but was instead awarding a legend instead of Tom Brady. Now, this had multiple issues with it, guys. I'm going to quickly explain here. Number one, like I already went over, the extra large gifts, right? The XL gifts obviously gave a lot of people a ton of coins. But there were also people who logged on in the morning who didn't get to take advantage of this glitch that happened and then they were missing out on millions and millions of coins. There were also people that got on in the morning, maybe opened up their unfinished business pack and then because the servers were uh, obviously terrible, right? They didn't get to actually get their Tom Brady or they didn't get to get their uh, Harold Carmichael and then once everything was fixed, they were able to get back in. Well, they never actually got their Brady or their Carmichael because that pack was gone. So that was like a major, major issue. A lot of people missed out on their Brady, their Carmichael because they only opened up like those packs and then they got kicked off the servers or just couldn't get back in. That's a major issue. Then they said at approximately 810, the prior update was rolled back, reverting to the previous state where all the content of the packs were correct to the collectibles the people had, just with wrong images in some cases. Near 840, the names and images of the packs were corrected to match both the original collectibles and the pack images so again people still had those xls that were crazy crazy glitched as a result between the times were approximately 6 20 to 8 10 users were awarded content that did not match the content they had earned the xl pack glitch and all some other stuff this resulted in some packs awarding significantly higher value and some packs awarding significantly lower value for the packs in the 6.20 to 8.10 p.m. time frame that granted lesser value, a make good for the correct content will be made once the team is back in the studio. In addition to the makeup for impacted users, all users that log in a month will receive an additional large present. So let me pretty much say what EA just did here, okay? From what I am understanding, the only people that are truly going to get a make good or a make right as we call them 
uh, are pretty much people that also took advantage of the extra large pack glitch, right? That's literally what they're saying. For the packs in the 620 to 810 time frame that granted lesser value, you will get a make good for the correct content and then everybody gets an additional large present. This is probably the worst possible thing that EA could have done because they literally only helped people like and i'm saying this as someone who also got the xl gifts right you guys know this i made a video i opened up a ton of those extra large gifts and made a ton of coins off of it right now what about the people that logged on in the morning and you actually were able to open up all of your presents if you open up all your presents well you got everything right you uh, did eventually get everything things were kind of messed up but you did eventually get everything there well you missed out on all the xls and then you also mixed out on any sort of make right. What EA should have done is actually push out to everybody that maybe was not on during the 6, 20 to 8, 10 p.m. time frame or people that opened up all of their gifts prior to the 6, 20 to 8, 10 p.m. time frame. They should have given all of those players XL gifts, right? I feel like that would have been the correct thing to do to keep it fair. Now, I will say this. Had they done that, and I can understand this aspect of it as well, EA has to kind of watch out and watch for the market, right? Them pushing out a make good and giving people the presence that gave them lesser value is obviously not going to uh, change the market crazy, right? Because obviously the XLs were like crazy, crazy good, and those gave uh, better value. And, you know, we're not going to get any XL gift make goods. We're only going to get like smaller stuff make goods. It's not really going to change the market a ton. If they gave out extra large presents to every single person that wasn't on from the 6.20 to 8.10 p.m. time frame, which is what they should have done, to be fair, it would cause the market to shoot up even more. Because when we all figured out that between 6.20 to 8.10, those packs were glitched and we could get those XL gifts, whatever, the market went up because there were a ton of coins put into circulation, and then people go to the auction house, they buy all the players they want, right? That is essentially what would happen again, but probably even a larger portion of people. So yes, I do not agree with this make right. I think it's terrible. Literally the only people that are actually going to get a quote unquote make right are the people that already got to take advantage of one glitch. And as you guys can see right here, we also got this large present. So I'll go ahead and open up this large present, whatever. Every person uh, is getting a large present. But as I said, I don't agree with it. I think it is terrible. The way that, the way they went around this like is really, really bad, right? It's literally only helping people like myself who took advantage of the glitch. I am not for that. I think it should be given out and make it fair to pretty much everybody who wasn't available to take advantage of the glitch. People that open up their presents in the morning. I do think, however, that if you like, like I said, right, let's say you opened up your presents and then you didn't end up getting your Tom Brady or your Harold Carmichael, whatever, it seems like that is going to be part of like the make, right? So for those of you guys that are like missing those players, I think you'll be okay there, but just not good not good i i didn't know how ea was gonna go around the make right there but i think they literally did the exact opposite of what they should have done they only help people who already took advantage of one glitch as the make rights they said it'll be pushed out whenever the team is back i know on january 4th we have like the first gmm stream so i'd imagine they get back around that time frame sometime early next week so yeah We'll see you about that. But hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Drop a like on it. Hit that sub button down below. Don't forget to check out Underdog Fantasy tonight. Thursday night football. Let me know what you guys think about these make rights. If you guys enjoyed this video, check out these.